YouTube, what is up? It's your boy Duke back here from sportsgamers.com. And in today's Madden 23 video, I'm going to drop a full offensive scheme, both runs and passes from the spread playbook. The spread playbook is one of, if not probably the glitchiest playbook in the game. It has so much tough stuff that is really hard to stop. And the best thing is, is it really kills all the more popular defenses out there. So if you hate playing against Dollar and guys who run nickel all game, you're going to love this scheme. So I want to look at this gun double stack. You're going to want to set some audibles. This is something that works good in any game mode. You know, regardless of what you play, it's easy, easy to use. So there's a couple main plays we're going to use in this formation. Um, I'm going to change my audibles up, but we're going to have like four main plays. One of them is more situational, but we're also going to break the huddle in the gun monster and then audible to the gun double stack. So you guys see my audibles. I'm going to change it up a little bit. We put the RPO read flanker screen in, four verticals, the PA jailbreak, excuse me, PA jailbreak screen, and then smash. Um, all these plays work really well together because they beat different types of defenses. This is a scheme that you don't really have to make a ton of like complicated reads. It's really just based on running the ball, RPOs, some super easy passes. Now we're gonna come out in the gun monster, RPO zone alert. Now guys, you don't need any specific abilities to use this scheme. But I will say a lot of people that run this, they're going to use like AK running backs. They'll use quad father. Then they'll put like flash at receiver for the screen passes. They'll put Vanguard on Gronk. And it's just super toxic because like I'm going to show you guys how to beat all the defenses in the game. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the entire video so you don't miss out. But you guys can see like when you break the huddle, if you don't put your base alignment on, your entire defense against a gun monster and misaligns. So because of that, it makes you basically baseline every single play. Otherwise, you're just going to give up free yards on this little RPO. The thing about this RPO that's really annoying is you have a screen on either side that you know, you're able to use too. If someone does put their defense on auto alignment, you know, I'm sorry, base alignment to help against the run, now there's not enough people out wide to defend the screen. And you simply, you guys see I have two blockers you know, ready to take out those two defenders. I can just throw the screen and that's a free 10 yards. So that's why this formation is really annoying because just the way it is, is it just makes everything complicated. Now, this is just the very beginning of this. I want just wanted to show you guys that this gun monster will kill dollar by itself. So when you come out of gun monster, you're almost making them stop run dollar. What they're probably going to do is they're probably then going to go to 3-3 cup. And the 3-3 cup or some sort of nickel defense. The 3-3 Cub will do a better job against the monster, but the double stack of these four audibles I've set will kill it, and I'm going to get into how to run these audibles now. Guys, if you like this content, make sure you smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Also, comment on the video. If we can get to 300 likes on this video, I'll post another full scheme breakdown from another formation that you can run out of the spread playbook to go with what I'm showing now. So, the first thing out of this playbook, or I'm sorry, out of this formation, is you have the RPO, right? The RPO out of this stack is gonna be one where it's actually a read option though. So you're gonna read the guy with the R over his head. If he crashes down, you're gonna keep it with the quarterback. If he stays at home, you're gonna hand it off. Now just to show you guys, this formation is very similar to the uh, monster, so it's a quick audible. Really all that changes is the split of the receivers is a bit wider out of monster, and then obviously in monster the tackles are you know out wide instead of like line up as alignment. So it's a small change, but it's a quick audible. Now you guys can see, like I said there, if they crash down on you, keep it with the quarterback. You can keep it with the quarterback. You can throw the screen. But if they stay at home in the contain, then you can just hand the ball off. Now, we didn't get much yards there on the screen, but that's okay. I just kind of wanted to quickly show you how that works. What most people will do from time to time, though, if you hit them with that option once, they already have it. They're going to put their option defense on conservative. And so they just make sure you cannot run that little glitchy read option anymore um, to where you can keep it with the quarterback by putting on conservative they're going to make you hand it off every time. You know, which is fine, which is fine. Um, this, even when you hand it off, when they have their option defense set to conservative, you'll see, you know, it, it's a good run, as you guys can see here. I mean, I get a nice little chunk of yardage. So this is the, these first two plays are so simple. They're basically just RPOs, like read options with screens, right? They're just super annoying because what ends up happening is they're like, okay, you hit them with enough of these screens and RPOs, they're going to go man, right? Most players are smart enough to know, like, you know, man-to-man, -man, especially if you shade underneath, we'll stop these plays the best. Looking to become a better Madden player and win more games? Check out sportsgamers.com. 
I built SportsGamers.com from the ground up to give you the best Madden tips, best Madden ebooks, all at the best price, bar none. We have a VIP membership that gives you access to the entire site, every ebook, and every tip we release all year long for only $24.99. Click the link in the description. I've also pinned it in the comments and use coupon code DUKE for 10% off your order. So that's where Smash comes into play. Um, you see that we have like by the uh, receivers that are lined up behind the stack and the back of the stack basically behind the other receivers. You have in-breaking routes that cut hard to the inside. Both of those routes, especially if you smart route them, they break so hard to the inside against man. You can just do a quick pass and they're undefendable against man. Both of them work really well. They're both going to get you probably at least 10 yards, potentially a touchdown if you catch it in the stride of a fast receiver. You guys see what I mean. Like, we were this close, this close to being gone. The other nice thing about this formation is, especially if they're in Cub, it's pretty much a guaranteed. But most of these nickel defenses, um, you know, if they're in man and they're blitzing, they're going to have probably someone man up to the running back on the other side of the screen. So, like, if they don't use her that immediately, that's just a quick throw into the flat. You can also just do a very easy read like that. That could be a touchdown just off a quick throw. So, you know, once again, you're seeing that, again, like, we're not making too many complicated reads. This is just super annoying. Super annoying, right? If you're on defense, this is the type of stuff you don't want to be playing against because we haven't even gotten into anything complicated and already there's problems. So you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, like, what if we played zone against Smash? So the thing with Smash that makes it so good is even if they do play zone, all you would really need to do is streak the receivers next to the C route and the corner route. Because now, you know, the C route and the corner route won't get open on the sideline as long as you pair it with streaks. This is a spread out formation, so it doesn't even matter what hash you're on because it's not compressed. It'll work both ways because it's spread out. So if they're in cover two, the corner and then the C route, if you smart route it, will run behind the flats. The streak will run off the deep safety and it's going to be wide open on the sideline just as you see here. You know, you can send the running, running back to see me out of the backfield if you wish. You could block him. Super easy stuff. Um, this also will get open against like a cover three or cover four. It's just going to work a little bit different. So with cover two, obviously, you just wait for your defender, I'm sorry, your receiver to run by the defender, the defender in the cloud flat. Whereas if it's a cover three or cover four, you're just waiting for the streak to basically run the deep zone off. And off the ball anyways and allow you to throw that corner out or the C route on the sideline. So it's pretty pretty easy stuff. Now, the other thing about this formation I haven't even spoken about yet is it's got the PA jailbreak screen. It's a pretty crazy screen pass, if I'm being honest, because all you have to do is basically just snap the ball, throw it to the left receiver, and you're getting your old lineman. They're going to come out, throw blocks for you. Really, really tough play. Um, this play, I prefer to run against zone blitzes. It can work against man blitzes too. It's just if they do shade their coverage out underneath and get aggressive, sometimes the man defender will jump inside. I would say it's a bit better against zone. Now, finally, four verticals. Four verticals is just a super annoying play because, you know, I've already hit you with all these screens, uh, run pass options, and just quick passes. Now, four verticals were essentially looking to isolate one-on-one -on -one and attack deep. Um, if they're going to press, you can, you know, obviously if you have short out elites, you can have one play touchdowns, but you know, just if we catch them in these heavy man to man, one-on-one -on -one blitzes, this just makes it really easy to basically just do little pass leads, uh, high balls and undercut the ball. Now here you guys can see everybody's one-on-one. -on -one. So not even winning off speed, just basically using leverage, throw a high ball and you want to cut the ball off, user catch it by cutting to the inside of the field this is very important to do the user catch right um basically again when you high point it as soon as you high point the ball you click onto the receiver so here we're throwing to the left receiver and we're going to hold to the right on the d-pad or the analog stick to cut to the inside and aggressive catch it now if you're playing a mode where they have a bunch of knockouts at dbs um you know potentially the knockout could get triggered however depending upon what knockout they have it depends if you throw it quicker they have like a deep route KO. If you throw this quick, the knockout won't trigger. Um, you know what I mean? So you can throw this even against knockouts depending upon which ones they have. You just got to make sure you throw it at the, a depth to where the knockout will not trigger. Now, the other part about it is, is when you get good at cutting the ball off of user catches, 
a lot of times the knockouts they don't trigger either just because you cut the ball off so this game is fire if you like it smash that like button we'll be back with some more spread content from the playbook very soon till next time it's your boy duke and i'm out of here